Bro, what are you doing, man? Chilling, stretching. You don't, there's nothing to be scared of, homie. You see, all the problem is, for some reason, him, the big one, Max, he does not like the noise that this stuff makes. He likes to stay over here, but hey, that's his prerogative. He can do it if he wants, but uh, how rude of me, y'all. Buenos dias and good morning. How y'all doing this morning? It's another day here, Monday morning. You already see the date right there. Y'all see the time? As I just started, maybe five, 10 minutes ago. So, not too tired yet, but hey, y'all. Every morning we're putting in that work, you know what I'm saying? Get a good lift in, get a good run in. It's a good commencement to the day. Well, yeah, how are y'all doing? I, uh, I truly hope that y'all are doing well. Hope that despite everything going on in this world, you know, with this election coming up and the divisiveness that is absolutely crazy, and Corona, and <laughs> I could list literally a plethora of things. I hope that you all are doing well, nonetheless. You know, we all know who's in control, the Lord, you know, at the end of the day, our faith is in Jesus Christ, not in some, whatever the heck is going on, you know what I mean? So again, stay positive, stay doing what y'all supposed to do, you know what I mean? All right, let me get to work though. Every day, good workout, come in here. Put all the frustration, everything out on those waists, you know? Get some good music and uh, you're good. Whew. Here's a word from my boy. What is going on? Shout out to the vlog, shout out to the OGs. You guys already know this is David up here talking to you guys from Atlanta, Georgia, baby. You know, it's Labor Day weekend right now. Hope everything is great. Hope you guys are still plugging into the videos, man. Have some fun, enjoy some family time, and we'll talk later. Peace out. I guess y'all still dark. You can still see the stars in the sky. We'll see, it's all good. Let's make it out of here. Quick three miles. Whoa. Got I've been seeing coyotes lately, so gotta have precautions. All right, let's get going. Whoa. That was a real good run, y'all. Um, see, I had to run later now because as y'all can clearly see, you know, it's pretty much just now getting like fully light. Just now seven. What's good? But no, y'all, like seriously, I used to get up. So y'all know I get up probably like two, three, three forty-five and four. I just. I just do. And I used to get up early and usually y'all by like 6, 6.15, I was done working out. I didn't have to worry about it anymore. Look, I know y'all think I'm just scared of animals or whatever. Look, I saw a coyote two days in a row. The first time I just saw it once running across the street. I actually pretty much right down the street from my house. The second time I saw it three times. Same spot, another spot up by another road and then in this cul-de-sac. A coyote, okay? Not a fox, not a squirrel, a coyote. So I'm not running in the dark anymore. Ever since that day, that completely changed everything. We still gotta watch out for these animals, bro, because I'm not trying to see no fucking coyote again. We're definitely not trying to see these snakes, you know what I mean? Yo, low key, look at that. This is what I tell y'all, I'm not messing around. Do y'all see that? What the? All right, man, you see? Nah. What the fuck? There's freaking two of them bitches. Yo, that. Not, not today, homies. The OGs, shout out to y'all. And speaking of the OGs, yeah, I really want to give a special shout out to y'all that, to y'all that continually come back, continually watch from, you know, watch what I put out. You know, we're a family, a small family, but you know, y'all, there's been a lot of, like I said in the last vlog, there's been a lot of things that have changed in my life. You know, some of them voluntarily, some of them, it's just how fate was meant to be. And at the end of the day, those that stick with you, those that are here, no matter what, those are the ones that, at the end of the day, truly matter. That involves people, you know, in my real life, but also y'all, you know what I mean? Like, y'all are always here. You know, the ones that have been here since the beginning, you know, I truly appreciate it, you know what I mean? My blood brother and my other brothers in real life, I appreciate y'all, you know who you are. I don't even need to say nothing, but for real, it's true love, like, 100%. I was gonna read Genesis, but I figured, you know what? I want some wisdom for the day. So what we're finna do, we'll uh, start in Proverbs. I started this a while ago, but then I'm kind of jumping all over, as y'all can see. So I have like Proverbs open, but then I had never read Psalms, like in my entire life. So voila, there's that. Obviously the New Testament, I just consistently read through. That's like the tenet of Christianity, you know? But then also, you know, you gotta build that foundation, like I said, with Genesis, so. It just depends how I'm feeling. Sometimes I may read a little bit, sometimes I may read along. Like I said, depends how I'm feeling, so. Por que no queres comer? Ah, tiene comida, eso no comprende. Okay, man. 
Okay, vem comigo. Estás bem? All right, bro. He's like, bro, just get out of my face. All right, y'all, so look. Another day, another water bottle. We're not gonna go into it. Just that team water bottle. Y'all, get hydrated, stay hydrated. And by the way, if you do know about that team water bottle, like, shout out to you. See, some of y'all know from real life. Some of y'all recently told. Shout out to you. You know who you are. But for real, team water bottle is not what y'all think. It has nothing to do with water, hydration, or nothing. If you want to know what it is, go back to the first, I think, 10 vlogs. is one out of 10, one of those. But seriously, team water bottle for life. As we know, insanity is like doing the same thing over and over again, right? So I understand we're in a very peculiar situation with this COVID thing. But at the same time, I can't keep doing what I was doing, trying to like level up, you know what I mean? Like we should always be leveling up, you know? In life, you should never be like content nor complacent with where you are. You should always be leveling up. And I was just like, man, what can I do differently to get to that next level I'm looking for? You know, obviously we have our long-term goals, but in order to reach those long-term goals, what does it take? It takes like little step-by-step -step processes, processes, processes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not talking about just one specific thing. I'm not just talking about jobs. I'm not just talking about social things. I'm talking about just in general. You know? What can we, what can we, the family, I'm talking about myself, but y'all should be thinking this too. What can we do to continue that progress? You know what I mean? But that's kind of where my head's at right now. Like I look at your life and it's like, if this is not where you want to be, how are you gonna get to that next level? You already know, man, it's too good of a day, you know what I mean? Your boy just had to come out here. So, first I was like, is the grass gonna be a little too wet? But it's not, gracias a Dios. Actually, fuck, it is wet, but it's all chill. But I figured, y'all, it's a good day. It's like barely 70 degrees right now. Still, I mean, mid-ish morning. Get another cardio session in. This is the best place to just think. Y'all, it's been, <clears throat> it's probably been like a year since I even come out here. It's crazy. But oh my goodness, y'all. See, it's a good cardio workout out here. Mainly like sprints and stuff. I don't usually sprint. Usually, I'm like a distance, I'm not gonna say I'm a distance runner, but I run distance usually. Wow. This is good to be out here, man. Let out. I got a bunch of stress. I gotta let out. Man. I'm telling y'all the best way to get over any type of rut in your life, period. Get out there, get out of your mind, get in your body and get out there and do something physical. You know what I mean? That's all it takes. Now is like the perfect time for me to be doing this type of stuff, y'all. I'm telling you, man, we're leveling up, y'all. We're leveling up. Keep on the lookout. I'm telling y'all, it's like when I come out here, I don't know what it is, to be honest. I don't know if it's like just the open air the fact that you're outside. Yo, to be honest, I heard that when humans see like greenery and stuff, they, uh, I don't know, like put some at ease. Uh, again, I don't know the validity of that, but that's what I've heard. And if you look all around, y'all can see it's literally green everywhere. Thing is, y'all, I got some ideas in the works. Obviously, you know, I'm not gonna go into like deep. Woo, I'm not gonna go into, just threw my keys down. I'm not gonna go into details on camera about them, but I got some details in the works, you know what I mean, y'all? Like I said, it's time to level up, improve myself, and start living the life I was meant to live. We, the family, were meant to live. And it's imperative that you all do the same. Because even if you're in a good place right now, you know what I mean? You shouldn't be content. You can always be better. You know, millionaires want 500 million. 500 millionaires want billions. Billionaires want to be trillionaires, you know? So. There's never a stopping place. Just keep working, keep it the progress, you know? We will see success, God willing. Stay right with the Lord, keep working hard. Keep that faith in Jesus Christ. Be thankful for everything he did for us and we will see success. Hey, you already know what we're looking for, you know what I'm saying? Scanning these snakes. Good buddy, these things aren't playing out here. Okay, so now he acts so calm. Just a second ago, he voulait chasser quelqu'un, or quelqu'un, parce que, you know, Elle était une femme. <laughs> All right, Max, go. Throw up, dude. You gotta chill out. Hey, don't. Hey, don't be doing that. Don't do that. I swear, y'all. Raising dogs is almost like. It's almost like it's like having kids. I know, obviously, to real parents out there, it's nothing. Like it's completely different. But I'm just saying, for me, it's similar. I don't have kids. 
Je suis jamais chiant. I've got about an hour before I gotta get ready to head to work. I was knocked out, but. But my dad, I think, just arrived. So I think I gotta help him. What's wrong, dude? You wanna come up here? I guess I went to Sam's or something when I was out doing a soccer, but that was a while ago. When I tell you, I'm probably gonna be dead at work today. <laughs> Cause you know, I run and lift every day, but just with. Cause I haven't blogged every little thing I've done. So besides going to the soccer field, I was doing other stuff too. It's gonna be a. Uh, Work will be interesting. A little over seven hours, but it's all good. Cause what is this? Temporary, very temporary, especially now. The thing I like about this book, to be honest, at least this author in general, she always includes other languages. So like down here, y'all can see that. Like right here. And up here, like that's clearly German, you know? So I am en route. I have like nine minutes to arrive. So I should arrive pretty early. These are two beautiful cars. Oh my goodness. Three beautiful cars. Four beautiful cars. Yo, I don't know what's going on. Another day, it's going to be a great, great, great shift. Great positive shift. The Lord's already there. I already know. Well, the Lord's omnipresent, of course. But, man, I always got to be prayed up before I go to work, yo. And you have, y'all literally have no idea. But it's going to be a great day. Great shift. We'll be off. Whatever happens, happens in the Lord's hands. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all, it's crazy, like, just driving at night. Like, like, this shit is a hell of peaceful. I mean, look, there's literally no one. It's just me, the road. I can go as fast as I want to go, you know? I mean, it's just... Man, I love this. The next day. Yep. Early morning. Something wrong being tired. What matters is what you do when you're tired. You can get up. So, you know I'm tired. It's time to get up, enjoy my coffee, catch up on the news for the day, and then back out there at the weights, back out there running. No days off. Remember to be in the Word, too, you know? Be mentally and spiritually disciplined. Yo, major key right here. This camera right here, y'all. Woo! <laughs> major. This is perfection. This right here on pumpkin. Can't even live without it. I don't even have to tell y'all about that teen water bottle. But see, the difference is, before I was just telling y'all about it. Right now, I'm living this teen water bottle like, y'all don't understand. And again, it's not about what y'all think, okay? This is serious. I am literally living teen water bottle. Can't tell y'all the details about it, but go check out the first 10 vlogs if you really want to know what it's about. Shout out to the OGs and those who know. Like I said, it's uh, time to get caught up on everything. But that's good. Let's chill. The Gucci. I'm actually really excited for today's uh, today's workout. You know, some days you get up, you're like, you're feeling it. Other days, you're not. This is actually the end of today's vlog. So those of you that have been riding me since the beginning or riding with me for a while, shout out to y'all, seriously, like, we're a family, as I always say. Like, this isn't just me here, you know. I do this for me, but this is us. It's literally us. We're a team. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you have post notifications on, too, so that you can be notified whenever, you know, I do post. You yeah, have a great day. Have a great week. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.